How long can a tick stay on a dog's skin? It sounds like a simple question, right? But the answer is more disturbing than most dog owners expect. Because ticks aren't quick visitors. They're patient, silent feeders that can remain attached to your dog for days, sometimes even up to two whole weeks, without you even realizing it. Think about that for a moment. Two weeks of a parasite clinging to your dog, hidden under the fur, quietly sucking blood day and night. No buzzing, no scratching noise, no warning signs that scream danger, just silence. And while you're playing fetch, watching TV, or tucking your dog into bed, the tick is still there, feeding. Now most people imagine ticks like mosquitoes come in, take a quick bite, and fly away. But ticks play a very different game. Once they latch onto your dog, they're in it for the long haul. Their mouth parts are like tiny hooks, locking deep into the skin. And once they're in place, they refuse to let go until they've had their fill. Let's walk through the tick's feeding cycle. Day one, the tick attaches, flat and almost invisible, no bigger than a sesame seed. Day two, it's still tiny, slowly sipping blood, so small you might never notice it. By day three or four, it begins to swell, though still hidden under the fur. By day five, it's noticeably larger, about the size of a pea. By day seven, it's grayish, bloated, and clinging on like a little balloon. And if you still haven't found it, it might stay up to 10 or even 14 days before dropping off, fully engorged, ready to lay eggs and potentially start a whole new infestation. And here's where things get dangerous. The longer a tick feeds, the greater the chance it will transmit harmful diseases. Lyme disease, ehrlichiosis, Rocky Mountain spotted fever. These aren't rare, distant threats. They're real illnesses that dogs across the world are suffering from. Studies show that most ticks need at least 24 to 48 hours of attachment before they pass along infections. That means every extra hour the tick remains on your dog is like rolling dice with your pet's health. Now let's imagine a real scenario. Your dog picks up a tick during a walk on Monday. You don't notice it. It's tiny and hidden in the folds of the ear. By Wednesday, it's been feeding for two days. The risk of disease transmission is already climbing. By Friday, it's swollen and twice its original size. By Sunday, it's fully engorged, about to drop off. That's six whole days of danger. And if you never checked, that tick might have left behind more than just a bite mark. It could have passed along something far more serious. What makes this scarier is how easily ticks go unnoticed. They prefer hidden spots. Under the collar, between the toes, inside the ears, under the tail, even near the eyelids. And because they inject a numbing substance when they bite, your dog doesn't feel pain the way they would with a mosquito bite. So don't expect barking, scratching, or whining to alert you. Many owners only discover ticks once they're already fat and swollen, meaning days have passed. And let's not forget female ticks. They're the true, long-term feeders. A female tick needs a large blood meal to reproduce, so she'll often stay attached for the full 10 to 14 days before dropping off to lay thousands of eggs. Male ticks may not stay quite as long, but they're still capable of feeding for several days. Either way, the risk is the same. The longer they're on, the more dangerous they become. Now maybe you're thinking, well, if ticks eventually drop off on their own, why not just wait? And that's the mistake too many dog owners make. Waiting means gambling. During those extra days, the tick could transmit disease, cause anemia in puppies or smaller dogs, or create painful skin infections. And when the tick finally drops off, it might do so inside your house, ready to lay eggs in your carpet, bedding, or furniture. Imagine hundreds of tiny tick larvae spreading through your home because you didn't remove one in time. The good news is, time is actually on your side if you act fast. Because disease transmission usually takes hours, even days, quick removal greatly reduces the risk. If you catch a tick within the first 24 hours, your dog is almost always safe. Within 48 hours, the chances of infection are still low. But leave it for 5, 7, 10 days, 
and the risk rises dramatically. This is why prevention and daily checks are so critical. Run your hands slowly through your dog's fur, feeling for small bumps. Pay extra attention to the spots ticks love. The ears, the paws, the belly, the chest, under the collar. Sometimes, your fingers will pick up what your eyes miss. Make it a daily habit, like brushing your teeth. A 30-second check can save your dog from weeks of danger. So let's circle back to our question. How long can a tick stay on a dog's skin? The technical answer is between 5 and 14 days, depending on the species. But the real answer should always be, only as long as you let it. Because a tick doesn't have to stay that long. You have the power to stop it early. And that's the real takeaway. Ticks are survivors. They've existed for millions of years, perfected in the arc of patience. They wait quietly in the grass, latch onto a host, and feed slowly, silently, persistently. But now you know their secret. Now you understand their timeline. A tick can stay on your dog's skin for up to two weeks, but only if you fail to find it first. So tonight, when you're with your dog, take a moment, check the ears, check the paws, check under the collar, because a tick might already be there. And every minute you catch it earlier is another minute you protect your best friend's health.